Hello? Uh, 15 minutes, right? Yeah. Actually, actually that simulation, the, uh, the simulation of uh, measurements is uh, fairly good. It's only that in that particular area of Kasaka, previous questions. So, anyway, so uh, I'm, I'm, going to, I'm going to talk about what we did uh, in Hawaii. Um, actually, we started this uh, prior to, uh, even before uh, Wei moved to Taiwan, that was back in uh, 2020. That's during the pandemic era. Uh, era. But, when he asked me that, well, let's, let's see that what, what we can do. Um, what, what we want to do is actually that we want to build something this outrigger. Um, so, you know, at that time, we know that there's a, a chime, right? Chime is getting, getting all, all, all the FRB, and um, um, then people start to build outrigger, want to localize, doing the LPI uh, technique to do this. Um, so at that point, um, I think already plan going on in Green Bank Observatory. Uh, do you know where Green Bank is, right? In, uh, in West Virginia, somewhere in uh, in, the, in 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 the right hand side of of, of the map. Um, so Chad Chad's actually in uh, in the center, the big star, green star over there in uh, in Vancouver area. So you in order to localize it, just like triangulation, uh, you want to use it the big area to the big long base line to triangulate, localize the, uh, the flash. So at that point that already have uh, Green Bank and uh, also University of Toronto, also the Wendy East group is building something, another our, our rigor in, to, in the uh, upper Toronto area. So you also know what our rigor mean, right? It, with a canoe, uh, in order you you have something in the side, so if you won't flip over, that's called our rigor. So, so in a, in addition to the chime, but all these small stations, smaller station outside that's the our rigor to the chime. I mean, we are talking about the, we want to build something in Hawaii because Hawaii has a very nice, very nice baseline in that direction. And um, with this, with this, we hope that we can localize. Is the flash from the star from the sky to a to a sub arc second uh, uh, precision? Um, also, uh, when you, we already have this plan, we want to build something in Taiwan. I mean, that's why the the good thing about Hawaii is that we can we can we can work with North America station, um, but we also can work with Taiwan, India, Japan, and um, China in this area, this, on the other hand, on the other side. So that's why I started doing this uh, uh, back in 2020. Um, the first thing to do is to, uh, to look for the site. Uh, uh, now, the, uh, the FRB, the, the chimes frequency from 400 to 800, that's right in the, uh, in, in the civilians bandwidth. Um, usually in the city, it's pretty, pretty bad. Um, like this, that's why we're talking about RFI. You need to find something that's clean, that's quiet. Usually, that has to get uh, stay away from from people. You, you cannot you cannot do that in Taipei. You cannot do that in Taichung. You have to go to Huizhou Ninsan or to go to the mountain area. That's why it is there. Um, so Hawaii, Hawaii, where is Hawaii? Um, where is Hawaii? Oh. By the way, this is a champ outrigger. This is already something that's been built in uh, Green Bank, uh, Green Bank Observatory. But this is the first thing that a model I, I want to do. I want to duplicate this in 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 Hawaii. So what you see here is that uh, this dish. This is actually the old satellite dish, uh, six meter. Six meters is pretty big, uh, like this. So this actually is ours. We uh, we we I, I bought well, I have ten of this. Um, I set up one of this in uh, in in in, uh, in the parking lot in Hawaii. Uh, I want to set up ten of this uh, in on the side. I'm um, just as our rigger to to uh, to look at it as a chimes our rigger. Uh, in the meantime, but then later on when uh, we have this, we already have this. Uh, 
burst idea. We want to use the Lopriotic, this with old sky antenna. So actually, I'm going to do two sets of the uh, of, of the array in Hawaii. One is this. So to working to work with chime, and um, then the other is the uh, this so-called Lopriotic antenna um, that will be work with the burst. So that's the plan. Um, so the first thing back in that, that time, that I need to find a site. Uh, so where's the, where, where is the site? Uh, we'll show you where Hawaii is. So this is Hawaii, so Honolulu. Honolulu is, a, is if you heard about that, Tanjiang San. Uh, Waikiki Beach, that's there, a small, tiny bit of island there. Um, uh, where, where I lived is the uh, big island. The, uh, it's the biggest island, so Hawaii, Hawaiian call it big island, the big island. That's where all the uh, telescopes are. So like this, um, uh, our, our base is Hilo. That's that's that area. And the reason the reason I'm there is because we we already have stationed there since 1995, when probably some of you are not even born yet. We built the uh, millimeter array. This on Mauna Kea. It's real. It's snow. Uh, Actually, now we got snow there too. Uh, Mauna Kea, with a whole bunch of uh, telescope there. There's um, the upper, there's a mountain there on the upper part of the island. Uh, then later on, we built this so called amoeba array that's on the other island. Um, no, no on, on, the, on the other mountain. There's two big mountains. Both mountains is, is more is higher than 4,000 meters, higher than J Mountain. And we can try just, well, this one you cannot drive, but that, that one you can just drive there. Uh, this one is about 3,200 meter. And later on, we have this East Asia Observatory. So we all already have the, uh, this facility there. So that, uh, yeah, of course. It also is, is, is uh, one of the mountain is, is active volcano. So a couple of months ago, it got lava flowing coming down like that. Uh, our amoeba is right there. So lava come off the road. So this is just fun. So, uh, so looking for the, looking for the site. I, I, all this point is that I, I search for for quiet site, uh, but actually it just doesn't work. Is all this is pretty polluted? All the about areas are all quite polluted. Um, I don't want to try Mauna Kea because it's very difficult. Mauna Kea is actually quiet, but it's hard. It's very hard to set up anything there now because uh, local people is thinking the astronomers are evil scientists. Um, it's actually very true. So I ended up finding a site in the lower, lower, uh, lower, lower right part at called Good Valley. I mean, in a, in a very nice area. Very good. Very quiet. So um, I, found a, I found a site. Um, I found actually the land to, to lease, so I leased it. I, I leased the land. Um, I, I was quite happy that I find a fungus I can start doing an experiment. But, so, you need a permit to do it. You need to, because most of these lands are, are farmland. Um, I, now I want to stop planting antenna. So, I need a special permit to plant antenna. Um, so, I need to get the, uh, uh, all, all the neighbors uh, agreement to do that. They have to be all happy about it. So uh, I, I do a I do a general science talk, public talk. They say how great it's all this for the human human being, good for the knowledge, everything, everything, um, everything. And they just don't like it. So yeah, uh, that's the uh, my my first my first site. They, they oppose it. So I I had to change the site to uh, to. Uh, Slowly, slightly up, up, up away from that, the, the best side I, I want to do it. So now I'm in the second side. Um, uh, so we are, I'm in the process of getting the permit. And that's already been going on for a year and a half. I'm still going. So, but we did do some uh, preliminary test. My, my colleague Derek, Derek, Derek Kubo and uh, Bilo Shiro, they, uh, Adam Mill, they, they, did, they did the testing. Uh, then, then 
left hand side, Pahala. That's that's actually the uh, the location. Yes. Yeah, that's actually the location of of of, of the site. You can produce a lot of coffee, cacao coffee. It's getting famous now. So that's that's actually we already been the data have been been uh, been processed. I'm it's showing in a in a in a SDF uh, uh, system equivalent flock density. Uh, um, it showed it is the R five like that. Um, this is comparison to the uh, the, the non uh, existing site in the world. Uh, so you can compare that uh, the same same scale, uh, but the uh, the frequency range is different. So we have, we showed this 400 to 800 megahertz. Uh, on this green bank one is to compare to middle 400 to 800. Uh, I heard that the green bank is got it got even worse than this. So I would say that with compared to green bank is is, is nice. Uh, we also compare that to uh, Inner Mongolia. Inner Mongolia, hmm, I think we are probably better than them, but. Uh, to compare to uh, to uh, to SK a lot, it's hard to compare to SK inside. Uh, I'm not sure if you are familiar with SK. Let's go square kilometer array, which is out in the no in the middle of nowhere in west the West Australia or, or South Africa, some, something like that. They are very very quiet because there's no human being there. The only only animals. So uh, conclusion is that we I have a we have a pretty decent site. In Hawaii, um, it is very it's suitable for doing FRB and also his low frequency work. Um, uh, we are we are we are working uh, not just the science. We are working in the to human being to uh, to set it up to make make it real. Thank you. Thank you. Do we have questions? I'm going to ask Kyle to start setting up. Let's see. Thank you very much for a great talk. And I can only imagine that there are so many lots of tasks here. So you need, you need to communicate with a lot of people and you need to compromise with them. So yeah, I really respect all uh, of this work. So then I just wonder, uh, because you already built the outrigger station for Chan in Hawaii, right? So therefore there's a site for Chan. So can we borrow the place a little bit of our no, no. project? Well, or? Well, yeah, the, the photo I show you that's that's that was the for Green Bank. Uh, we haven't had the site ah, yet. Ah, sorry. Without sorry, the permit, a... I cannot do it. Ah, okay. Uh, I misunderstand. Oh, sorry. Okay, yeah. I have another quick question. You show the Hawaii island, big island, and showing a lot of blue points in yeah. the maps. So did you search for all of these locations? Yeah. Oh, really? And then, then you find a. Out of that, then you found the well, best press. Well, once you survey enough site, you, you you sort of getting a sense where 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 is the where is the good where the good side, where is the best side. I mean, sort of that. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah. the reason the reason that that side is good is because it's flank. It's right next to the, the active volcano. Ah, I see. Yes. Um, there's oh. really just not that too many people there. Oh. Uh, and then. Um, also, people people live there also for a reason because they don't want to be you know, disturbed. Um, uh, they consider like we are disturbing them. Um, the first thing they see the see the antenna is that it is it's going to radiate. <laughs> it doesn't matter how much I I, talk, I I say that this we are passive. We are not emitting anything at all. They just I mean, you're talking to I aliens. See. I see. I see. Um, okay. 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 Um, thanks for coming again.